Hi, I'm Andy McFarland here with Utah Technology Magazine at the Wayne Brown Institute Investors Choice Conference. Is that correct? That's correct. Awesome. And we're here with Richard Shanneman, um, who is one of the founders of the conference. That's right. Um, and Mr. Shanneman, it's wonderful to be here with you. Thank you. Um, how are you doing today? Wonderful. Wonderful. There's a great team of companies here today. Wonderful people. Fantastic. And um, just to start out with, could you tell us a little bit about the history and purpose of the Wayne Brown Institute? Sure. Um, about 1988 is when the Institute got started. Um, it was started um, as a result of Dr. Wayne Brown dying in, his, in, a, in an airplane accident and oh. uh, Brad Burtosh and others started the Institute to assist emerging businesses because Dr. Brown traveled the globe trying to help emerging businesses get started, find money, be successful, and you need to get mentors like you see here today mm -hmm. that will help out these emerging businesses find the funds and stay on track to build a, a successful business. So back in about 1988 is when all this started cool. and has come forward every year there has been a conference like this and there are a lot of people that volunteer their time to mentor these emerging businesses and so it's very important that we get them launched properly because statistically Brad Burtosh who runs the Institute will tell you that companies that come through the Wayne Brown experience mm -hmm. stay in business much longer than normal businesses according to the SBA statistics that's so, fantastic. And they've been quite successful. We've had some very successful businesses. And could you uh, tell us about some of those businesses? Well, I came from the venture capital side. Mm -hmm. So back in 1987, 88 time frame, Wayne Brown and I started a venture capital fund mm -hmm. of which Jim Dreyfus and others have been prominent in the fund, which you'll probably hear more of today. Cool. But Businesses of all kinds have started, and I just soon not pick one out in, in particular. Okay. But, but in, uh, um, any recognizable names that might be uh, familiar to our viewers? I know you don't want to pick. Yeah. No, I'm going to say no, not at this moment. Cool. Sounds good. Um, well, and then how, how do um, – we have a lot of tech startups that, uh, that are in the state, of course. Um, how would young people who are interested in becoming involved with the Wayne Brown Institute get involved? Well, the, we have a program at the Institute. I was a, have been a board director or a trustee of the Institute for a, a number of years. Mm -hmm. And w what we do is we try to obtain uh, students that are interested in entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And we have a number of them here today from the University of Utah. BYU and other places that are sitting in listening as to what they can do. They can also volunteer to be on some of the mentoring teams also. All the, the uh, some students from the University of Utah as an example help guide the teams that are mentoring each one of these companies. Oh, cool. And so we have, at times it can, it can range anywhere from 15 to, to 30 um, interns mm -hmm. that come from universities in the, in, the, in the area here. And do they specifically need to be in the entrepreneurial programs at these universities or? No, they don't, no okay. they don't. It's, uh, it's a matter of if this interests them uh -huh. and they want to get involved, um, then they can, they can do so. Okay. And they get paid a, a very small stipend for doing this, but they end up really liking it and understanding entrepreneurship as a result of it. Which is an incredible experience, especially uh, for uh, for young young entrepreneurs who are hoping oh, to yeah. do this in the oh, future. Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh, absolutely! Yeah. They see the mistakes, mm -hmm. and they see the successes, mm -hmm. and they realize that as a company comes forward to get help that that company needs to reach out because they may not have all the answers and typically they don't have all the answers so they reach out and they find the best attorneys the best CPA they possibly can the best mentoring group that has let's say an individual that has been on a board of directors of a, of a major corporation or a publicly held company all these different people 
can assist a process to make this company successful or at least get it launched. Fantastic. And then um, if, if students are interested in becoming interns with the Institute, is there a website that they go to or a particular time of year that you're looking for applicants? Well, they could go to the Wayne Brown we website okay. and, and find that, um, or, or merely contact whether it's uh, Brad Bertosh okay. or some other member of the Institute. Fantastic. It's not that difficult cool. to contact. It really isn't. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your time. It was wonderful speaking with you. Oh, you're and, very welcome. Um, very welcome. And, oh, go ahead. And uh, we, uh, that's all we have for right now. Um, again, we are here with Richard Sher um, Shanneman, excuse me, Richard Shanneman of the Wayne Brown Institute. Um, if you're interested in learning more, please check out the Wayne Brown Institute online. Thank you so much, and we'll talk a little more later.